sometimes the WooCommerce single page templates that they have for the products are boring and they're all controlled by your theme. Well, in this video, we're going to discuss how to actually make a custom template for your products using the Elementor Page Builder. So right now we have our template and this is the Astra theme and this is what their basic product template looks like. So we have something along the lines of the categories, the breadcrumbs, uh, add to cart, the price, the short description, and some other items down here. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to get started. We're going to go ahead and navigate to Elementor and go to My Templates. From there, we're going to go ahead and add a new template. Select Single Product. And we're going to name this Single Product right here and create. From here, you're going to recognize the famous Elementor page builder that we have right here. Uh, don't worry about any of this. This is a demo site that I imported using Astra Premium Sites. And this is just basically all footer content. So right here we have the Elementor page builder. So we can go ahead and add a new section here. And we have all the same options that we normally do with the uh, Elementor page builder for our other pages. So normally you have your images left here and then you have all of your information on the right and then you have some more additional information down here. But we're gonna go ahead and change that up a bit. On the left hand side, you're gonna see a new product categories for the elements. We have a bunch of different uh, elements that are going to get us through making a single product page. And I'm sure that these are gonna be updated and more are going to be added to this list as time goes on. So you have things like your product title, your product images and the price, things like your ratings and your tabs. So everything's here that you need to recreate a, an Elementor um, single product or something that you can enhance on the current theme that you're using. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do a simple uh, two column setup and from here, we're going to drag our product images over here. And we have our product image, we have the sale tag, we have that zoom tool, things, all of those things that we need. And then we can go ahead and start dragging in some other items. We have the product title, so we can go ahead and add this title over here. We can actually add the title anywhere we want. So it doesn't always have to be the standard. And I know it's gonna be hard to come up with some template ideas that you know, it's, uh, that strays from the normal single product template, but I'm sure you guys will come out with some great ones. And once people start releasing um, their templates and seeing what other people have created, then all your creative juices are going to start flowing through. So we have the title over here. And when we go ahead and edit this, we have all of the same style options. So we can go ahead and style this however we want change the topography so it's larger or smaller and we also have the same options for the font family and then the weight style transformation things of that nature let's go ahead and continue to add let's go ahead and add the short description because i want to go ahead and add that we can change the text color the topography so we can have this a 16 size maybe i want to add a background to this And then let's add some padding. All right, then we can go ahead and add some other stuff here. Let's do uh, the product price. So we can add the price right below here. And then of course we want somebody to be able to add it to the cart. So we're gonna add the add to cart button, maybe like over here. We can center this, uh, justify it, right align it, there's all of these different options that you can do. Let's go ahead and justify this fully across. Let's go ahead and add some other meta. So we can go ahead and add our categories, all of our things of that nature. We can go ahead and stack them, inline them, make it a table, whatever we want to do to, short, to sort that out. And if you notice, you can't see it right now because it's highlighted, but if I click off, it adds a great little divider right above that so that it separates it from the rest of the content. And then we also have some product content, additional information, product tabs. Let's go ahead and add, uh, let's go ahead and add our product tabs right down here. 
So we have this, let's add a little bit of margin above it. So we have our description and our reviews right here. We can go ahead and drop down into the panel, create all of our styling down here, and as well as the tabs, so we can do the background colors so that it can match whatever we want it to do. Let's go ahead and continue on with some product content. So the contents of the actual long text description, which is this right here. And then we also have some different additional information. If you want to add related or upsell products, we can go ahead and just add those here. And those don't necessarily have to be uh, right here. They can always be somewhere else. So they don't have to be at the bottom. And then we have some additional information like product rating. We can add that if there's a, if you guys have a rating system for your shop, I don't currently have any ratings, so it's not going to show very well. And then we have a uh, product stock. So we can go ahead and show the current stock. Things of that nature. If you guys want to go ahead and get a little bit more creative with these, we can go ahead and go to the columns and we can add the columns and text in one column, the price in another column, and just kind of sort that out of how you guys want to make that look. Do something along those lines right there. Let's go ahead and add this above. Let's go ahead and take this back out. We're gonna go ahead and delete this. So this is at your average looking um, single product template. There's a lot that we can do with this. So we can also do things with the columns of the, the styling. So we can go ahead and do a background type. Have this be another one. So we do that, have some padding to that. We can also add the border to have the shadow. So we can add the shadow here. Let's go ahead and spread this out just a little bit more. So to along these lines, let's add some, let's add some pad, uh, margin to the top of this. Something along those lines. Style this up with a border, add a solid border of one. All right, border radius none. So we can do something along those lines to where we have the box shadow here. Let's go ahead and dial that box shadow back a little bit. All right, so there we go. We have something along those lines. We have a different and unique looking product template. It's so different from this one. Then we have something that looks a little bit like this. So we can add our headings as we want. We have all of our same um, elements here so we can have a heading here or something along about this product so we could do something along those lines and then we also have things like the dynamic tool for the heading so we can also use this to our to our advantage so we could do the post title and then do about the evergreen lush so we can add that so that it's not always just static headings and things of that nature we want a lot of things to be dynamic on this template because it's going to be across multiple products so we could do about the the evergreen lush and then the evergreen lush will always change based on uh, what product you're viewing at that time so we can always do that it doesn't always have to be static this is a great way if you want to add a call to action to the bottom of your, let's see, to the bottom of your uh, single product template. So we can go ahead and add a call to action so that it's down there on every single product. And that way people can actually have a call to action to go to and have something to do while they're on their product page, especially if you're running a catalog only and you don't have things that are necessarily for sale. All right, let's see what we've got here. So we have a couple looking, different looking things here, and then we can go ahead and style it however we want. Let's go ahead and change the style here. So we have those options. Now that we've got our single product template designed, we need to apply this to all of our products. So we can go ahead at the bottom left and hit publish.
And what this is going to do is this is going to ask us uh, where do we want to display this. So we want to add a condition and we want to make sure that all products are selected. Now the great thing about this is you can actually design different templates for different things. For example, if you have a single template that you want to use for all your products, perfect, you can go ahead and do it right here. If you want to do specific categories, you can choose that and then have all of your categories listed here that you want this to show up for. So maybe you have um, specific categories that have colors, you can make the background different colors, things of that nature. And then you also have the tag selecting as well, which gives you the same options. So we have all products in category and in tag. We can also add multiple conditions. So if we want it to be in the category of this, and but we also want it to be in the tag of this, you can go ahead and, and include all of those inclusions uh, for your condition. And then if you click this drop down, we can do exclude. So all of the categories except for the ones in this tag. So we could do something along those lines, or you can do all products except for the ones in the category of this one. And then make sure this one is under exclude. So we do all products except for this category. So that's a great way for you to go ahead and manage where you're showing this single template. All we have to do is just go ahead and hit publish. All right, so now that we have this published, let's go ahead to our single product and refresh the page. All right, so let's go ahead and show this a little bit. We have the product title, we have the image, we have the price, we have that dynamic heading that we created along with the short description and our metadata. And then we, of course, we have our add to cart over here underneath and then our description and things of, the, things of that nature. So right now we have our great looking single product template that we've just that we've designed here using an Elementor page builder. And we all we have to do is if, if in the future we ever want to change where this template is applied to, we just go back to editing this with Elementor, go down here to the save options and just go back to the display conditions. From there, we can just change where we want to display our single product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't yet, turn on the notification bell. And we will see you guys at the next one. Thanks.